Hi, 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 everybody. It is Kathy, and I love to be selling. Come on in, sellers. I've got hot, hot, hot tips for you how to source items that are hot, hot, hot on eBay. And I bet I'm going to give you tips that you have not thought of. So settle in. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Hi, Sharon, so that you can do this too. And this is a way to source from your desk chair, <laughs> from your couch, from your wherever you want to be. Hi, Joan, how are you? This is something you can do no matter where you are. It is, Sharon. And this is why I share this um, strategy with you. Because oftentimes, hi, Dale, everybody's, you know, we've got great sellers and they give you great tips for, you know, how to find things in thrift stores and consignment stores. And that's fabulous. But one of the things that a lot of sellers have faced, hey, Olivia, come on in, have faced this past year is that you might be in an area where you cannot physically get out to a store or there's just so many restrictions on in-person shopping that it's just not very, very pleasant. Again, some people are selling, uh, selling, are shopping, selling too, uh, shopping yard sales, estate sales, all different kinds of way to source, retail stores. Um, and by the way, when you're buying in retail, it's called retail arbitrage because you're going into like a regular retail store and you're flipping it. You know, you're then selling it on eBay. But what I want to share is a way to source that you can absolutely do just from your chair or your couch for the times when you're not able to get out either because of weather or i know sometimes because i'll have sellers message me and they're like kathy i you know i see this great items <laughs> you know people share you know on videos and everything but it's just not in my area you might just not have you know, a great thrift store near you or a great mall or a great outlet or just you just don't have great sources of inventory where you are. So this is a strategy that will work for you. Hey, Terry, are you ready? <laughs> so one of the things that I do is I, I look on the Internet for trends. There's a couple different ways to do this, but one of the easiest ways is use this thing called Google Alerts. It is completely free and you can set up alerts for different things. Like for instance, let's say, um, let's say I sell tennis rackets. So then I might set up alerts for, for terms that I know about tennis rackets. So maybe different brands of tennis rackets or different stores that I know sell tennis rackets, maybe some big tournaments, maybe some celebrities, but you can set up alerts for different terms. And one of the terms that I have a Google alert set up, Hey, Ladoris, is retail and this is because i'm a blogger it helps me to keep on track of different trends for retail plus for ideas for my membership group social media insider so i have ideas for them and also for my private clients and this is an article that popped up in my feed and i want to show this to you because it will show you how to source from your chair your couch and this is how you do it so hang on let me just share this with you this was an article and it's on cnn and the article, excuse me, CNBC, and the article was about these 10 retailers are in expansion mode. Here's who's opening new stores. And you might say to me, Kathy, why am I paying any attention to stores that are expanding? I will tell you why. And maybe this is because I'm so aware of it here in New York. So here in New York, I think at this point, it's like 65% of small businesses are closing. It's just too tough. Um, just the retailers can't deal with it. The pedestrian traffic is so down and the rents here are so high. So that's why this caught my eye is I've been getting article after article after article after article. And I'm sure it's the same thing where you are. Stores closing, stores closing, stores closing, stores closing. I haven't been seeing articles about retailers expanding. I've seen articles about retailers opening, but this is retailers expanding this really grabbed my eye so this i'll show you so i read this i'm like okay so who is expanding and this is why you care about who is expanding because what it tells you is people are buying this a business is not going to expand if there is not a demand for their product so for me as an ebay seller 
as an eBay seller coach, I want to know what is in demand, what is selling. Now, it might be something that's only appropriate for, for a brick and mortar retailer, but certainly one thing we've learned this past year is an awful lot that sells in retail is now very much alive and well online. So this is the, the first store that's expanding is Ulta Beauty. So it's a beauty supply, beauty supply. So, you know, mascara and foundation and makeup and all different kinds of brands. Um, so Ulta is expanding. So that grabbed my attention. And then right underneath it was Sephora. So two big beauty brand stores are expanding. And you might say to me, well, Kathy, I know about Sephora. <laughs> I know about Sephora. I've shopped at Sephora. Um, but this is why you pay attention. So this is a big article about stores that are opening in CNBC. So major news outlet and it's, and the two stores leading it, the two chains leading it are beauty. Okay. So I put on my eBay seller hat. Okay. And I go, okay, so what can I learn from knowing that these two chains are expanding? is that health and beauty is very much in demand. And it is, if you're not aware of this, it is. And it's not just on eBay, it is on many platforms. So then you go, okay, Kathy, now I know that health and beauty, and health and beauty, just so we're clear, all different kinds of makeup, okay? So from very budget conscious to very expensive makeup, and then you can go into hair mesh, shampoo, conditioner, you know, soaps, loofahs, uh, scrubbers, body lotions, just everything, perfume, everything you can possibly think of is exploding. And both for men and for women. And some of these beauty lines have kids lines too, which is great. So it is huge. So then you go, okay, so this is, you know, putting on my thing. I should have a hat, but I don't have a hat around here. I've got everything but hats around here. Um, how can I source? How can I source health and beauty? I go, okay, Kathy, I want to start to source health and beauty. I see this trend if these two big beauty lines are expanding, which means with everything going on, they are selling so well, they are looking to expand. Let, I, I would love to try some health and beauty. How on earth am I going to source health and beauty? And this is how you do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do, let me just come out, is do some research. And again, this doesn't need to take hours. I would go on Sephora's website and I would go on Ulta's website and take a look at what brands and what styles of things, like do they have a lot of mascara? Do they have a lot of eyeliner? Just look at what do they carry? Then go on the site that you sell the most on. And I'm an eBay sales and social media coach. So we're going to say, let's go on eBay. Go on eBay. Maybe take four or five brands off Sephora four or five brands off Ulta and go on eBay. This is not about sourcing. We're just doing research to start. And take a look at what sells, what's listed and what's sold. Okay, so you're going to be using Terapeak or you're going to be using advanced search and just click sold. So that's all we're doing. We're just saying, what is the price? Does it sell? And get an idea. And then what lines are selling? Like the mascara sells really well. The eyeliner, you can't give it away. Shampoo sells really well. You know, conditioners don't. Hair masks sell really well. Get an idea of what is selling. Just sort of poke around. Both the sites are very, very extensive. And then once you get an idea, and then I always think of too, I would prefer not to, when I'm first starting out, to ship something that's liquid because sometimes it can leak and I just don't want to have to deal with that. So I'm going to stay away from shampoo, but I'm going to look at hair masks. I'm going to look at mascara. I'm going to look at um, maybe eyeshadow blush? Am I going to do cream? Am I going to do just look around? The health and beauty that you're selling must be new. Perfume you can sell that's used, but everything else must be new. So depending on where you're sourcing, because speaking of thrift shops, um, especially in New York City, um, different lines will donate to various thrift shops if you are able to be out and about. Um, and you do need to make sure, I'm sure most of us have good enough eye, you know, when you open it, if it's not sealed, and sometimes they are sealed and then you're fine. You don't need to worry about it. But some makeup lines don't have an outer seal. They don't have a seal. But you can look at it and you can tell if it's been brushed, if the eyeshadow has been brushed or the blush has been brushed. And you can tell because the little surface texture has been broken, then you need to not sell it. It's like enjoy it for yourself. Um, but get an idea of like different lines that sell. Talk to your friends. I was talking um, to a Poshmark friend and she was telling me that hair masks, that she was doing really well with hair masks. I've never used a hair mask. <laughs> I was like, 
I'm going to check this out. So again, you know, talk to friends, you know, what are you selling? Have you tried health and beauty? What things are working for you? Not poaching ideas because, you know, we don't do that because we love our seller friends, you know, but just get an idea of like, you know, I didn't ask her brands. That's not fair. I didn't ask her where she's selling, <laughs> excuse me, where she's sourcing. That's not fair. But just get an idea of like different trends out there. Um, what's selling on eBay, you can check with solds. If you're on Posh, you can check solds on Posh too. Then the next step is how do I source it? Now, a couple of ways. You can either do physical, okay? So you're going to have to get out of the chair for that. I'll give you some chair ideas in a minute. Um, and check uh, local stores. Like for instance, um, if it's a moderate price line, I don't know where, where you are, particularly right now because things are tough for a lot of brick and mortar retailers, you can get some killer deals, you know, buy two, get one free, half off. Um, you know, if you are a senior, there's senior days, there's coupon days. Keep an eye out for all of that. I remember early on uh, sourcing for eBay, I would uh, gift with purchase, you know, and you sell the gift with purchase because you got it for free, or you sell the item with the gift of purchase because it makes it like a deluxe bundle. Okay. So take a look at that. You know, don't poo poo CVS, Dwayne Reed, Walgreens, Target, you know, your chain stores. Keep an eye out because they have some killer, killer, killer deals, but it must be new. Okay. Must be new. There must be a seal or clearly that it hasn't been used in any way. Okay. Um, now, sourcing online. So back to Kathy, I want to source health and beauty. I don't want to go to the store. I want to do it from my couch and I want to do it from my chair. Is the liquidation companies. Okay. And most eBay sellers are familiar with bulk, bulk are friends of mine. Um, so you can do that. If you want to look at competitors of bulk, like who else is selling liquidation goods, this is the easiest way. This is my other tip for you. So besides using Google trends to keep on top of trends and things that are going on is you go on the internet, type in bulk. I did this B U L K versus, cause you want to see their competitors. This is always a great way to find competitors. <clears throat> bulk versus and like five different companies pulled up. Okay. So take a look at it. Okay. You don't want to pay for names. Don't do that. Cause some people are, um, shall we say they sell you names of liquidators. You don't need to do that. And then go on their sites and see, you know, what is, what is the condition of the item for health and beauty? You do need new, it must be new. It must be sealed. It must not be damaged. Okay. It's okay. If the outer box is damaged, um, sometimes they'll sell makeup that way. The box is damaged, but what's inside is fine. Okay. So just keep an eye on that. So you can look at it that way. And this is another thing if you've never done this, cause I was just on eBay poking around doing some research, go on eBay and you can do the same thing. I noticed this on posh and I'm sure the other sites too. It's just, I, I tend to shop eBay, posh, Amazon, um, go on eBay and search makeup lot wholesale lot. And I came across a term, which I hadn't seen before. See, I'm learning dealer lot, D E A L E R. So there's people, they have sources or it's a store in New York city or North Carolina or Georgia or Alabama or wherever. And they are getting rid of inventory because they're downsizing. Maybe they're going from a bigger store to a smaller store, or sadly, maybe they're selling, they're getting rid of their store altogether. And they are getting rid of huge amounts of inventory. And I've actually been seeing this a lot. And they come on eBay a lot to do that. I do see it on Posh. I'll see people, uh, clearly they're shoppers and people love to shop. And they're putting things in a lot, <clears throat> excuse me. And they'll say, Sephora a lot. Um, I'm trying to think of other lines, you know, um, Mac lot. It'll be a lot. Make sure it's new. Um, if they're throwing in one that's not new, technically they're not supposed to sell it. You might want to be keeping that for yourself. Um, but you're looking for things that are new. Okay. And again, different lines are different. I personally buy some lines. There isn't an outer seal, you know, like a, some kind of plastic seal. It, it's just, it's the way they sell it. But you can tell when you open it that it has not been touched in any way. But that's my tip for you. So this wonderful article from CNBC about these stores that are expanding, they are broadening, they're opening more chains. They're not downsizing. As a seller, when I see something like that, when I see expansion and it's national expansion, it's not just regional. And can regional can be great. Like, wow, they're really expanding in the Northeast or the South or the Midwest or the Northern States or the Rocky Mountain States or wherever it is. Um, that's great. It lets you know that those items or that chain is popular 
in that area. And that can help you, particularly if you sell to that area. Um, but these are national chains. And if you keep reading through the article, and again, I'll read it to you, it's store closings 2021. It, it's on CNBC, their website, and it's published Sunday, March 21st. Take a look at it because there's some other retailers. But again, health and beauty, huge expanding market. If you don't want to go into retail, if you don't want to be looking at thrift shops and consignment shops, do your research online. Look for liquidators, okay, which you can find online. There's tons of them. The other thing is to look on eBay and look on Poshmark. There's people selling these giant lots. Again, small stores that are downsizing, dealers that are downsizing. Always check expiration dates because some of them have expiration dates. You don't want to get stuck. Okay. It's a great, great way to source and you don't need to leave your chair. Then once you have the items and you're listing, you're going to want to hop over on my website. I love to be selling.com. And you're going to want to grab a freebie I've got right now called eBay listings that sell. It's completely free. It's my hit guide. Tons of you have grabbed it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cause I know you're going to love it. And people are selling, telling me they're like, Kathy, this is the greatest. I can't believe the tips you've packed in here. So grab eBay listings that sell because you can have the greatest inventory that you've gotten, you know, fantastic mascara, fantastic eyeshadow, and you list it. You're like so excited. You're like, I know this is a hot item and it doesn't sell. And there's reasons. And my guide will help you. So I'm going to help you to get the great the inventory. You're going to get your great inventory because you can source right off of eBay, right off of Poshmark or local stores. Just keep an eye on your trends. And then once it's listed, you want to list with the tips I'm going to give you. eBay listings that sell because I want you to sell, sell, sell and get that money back. Get the cash in your pocket. Cha-ching. Okay. I'm Kathy. And I love to be selling. Bye-bye, everybody.